Hey, what's up guys? Tell me, I hope you're doing great. So today we're gonna do a grading on the new movie called The Lady of Heaven. The world is in shock as a group of terrorists has taken control of large areas of Syria and Iraq. The world can be a cruel and dangerous place. And this was requested by one of my subscribers. As you all know, the movie is not yet out. But I did some research on the trailer and the fun fact about this movie is that some scenes have different gradings. So I've decided to pick a screenshot from the trailer and then we're gonna use that as our reference image. There we go guys, so as you can see, uh, it's the grading is a little bit warm and desaturated and we can see we have a little bit of uh, green in the shadows and we have our, the rays light coming here and now we're gonna try to create all this in DaVinci Resolve and see if we can come to this result. So let's just jump back in DaVinci Resolve. Alright guys, so um, I, have, I have my footage that we're gonna use here. And we can see that we we or we have a face note done for us in the Vince Resolve. So now we just I'm just gonna choose um I'm just gonna choose a arrow shot that I'm gonna stick on. Uh yeah, there we go. And then this note I'm gonna call it contrast, as you know that I love naming my notes. So uh, on my contrast, I'm just gonna go one by one because we're going for that dark shot. And then uh, the second note I'm gonna call it exposure. I'm gonna call it exposure and I'm gonna bring up my exposure a little bit just make sure you have your scope so that you can see what you're doing all right we have our scope we're just gonna increase a little bit of that and then our next node we're gonna call it grading just call this grading and for this one we're gonna add a parallel node to it and this one we're gonna call it shadows All right, there we go. Let's just go back to our grading node and try to see if we can recreate this look. All right, on now again, we're just gonna bring it a little bit here. Just gonna see if we can do that. All right, there we go. And now on the gamer, we're just gonna increase this up a little bit. All right, guys, as you can see, we are getting close to that just with one note. And on the shadow, let's go back. Let's go to our log wheel. On the shot, we're just gonna go a little bit green. All right, and just keep your eye in the shadows. You can see that we're getting that detail. Let me just, uh, all right, there we go. So now, guys, just by doing this simple step, you can see that we're getting close to our reference image. We're just gonna add another note. Just gonna add the parallel notes, and then this one, we're, gonna, we're just gonna name it highlight. Just gonna bring down the highlight a little bit. All right, and then, all right, so now we have our grading, we have our shadow node, and we have our eyelash. So far, this is what we have done. So now we're gonna create some other node, and then I think because on the reference image, we have no details on the skin tone, but on this shot, I just wanna show you guys something that we're gonna help you guys to be more creative whenever you're doing this in post. All right, just gonna choose, um. I think uh, I think this will do. All right, so now we're just gonna create. We're just gonna see if we can fix our skin tone. Just wanna show you guys something real quick. And then this note, we're gonna call it. Uh, we're just gonna call it skin tone. We're gonna call this note skin tone. All right, if you hold on Alt plus L, you're gonna create this kind of notes. And then uh, if you wanna know more about it, just go to color and notes, and there we have it. It's here, it's a layer notes, all right? So now we have our skin, we're gonna try to fix our skin because it kinda, it's kinda red. There's a lot of red in there. We're just, we're just gonna desaturate that a little bit down. And then uh, let's go back, let's go to our qualify. And then um, there's there's quite a lot of options in DaVinci Resolve that you can use. I prefer going to color, preset, and use the red. And there you have it. So now just by checking out our score, you can see that uh, this is our skin tone, but it's uh, it's kind it's kind of big, so we're not seeing any details in that. So one thing that I love doing in DaVinci Resolve, I'm just gonna select my 
just gonna to select my skin tool so that, I, so that I can have an accurate details and whenever I'm doing this so now if you check your scope you will see that you have that online so one thing we're gonna do now let's just go to our log wheel we already know our log wheel on the offset we're just gonna try to fix that And on the eyelid as well, I'm just going to bring this down. Okay, let's see what we have there. And then uh, we're going to have to desaturate this down a little bit. There we go. So now we have our skin tone. So I just want to show you guys this technique that's going to help you to select your skin tone so that you don't struggle whenever you're doing this in post. Alright, so this is what we've done so far. But we're not done. We need to we need to add that raised light that I've shown you guys. We can see that uh, there's light coming in here, but we just need to add a little bit of uh, highlight or any uh, exposure so that we can have that dynamic range in the in the grading. So let's just create another note. I'll done Alt plus S, and now we're gonna add a parallel note to this one as well. Alright, there we go. So I'm just gonna call this raise you know i love naming my notes i'm gonna call the race and then i think this will do we'll go back to one our, our mask here just gonna pick up this one and then let's just create a mask around this all right there we go so let's go back to uh to our color wheel just gonna increase again just Increase again a little bit. Oh, there we go. And I'm gonna bring down the highlight. Just gonna bring down the highlights. Increase, increase it again. And now we're gonna change the the color of the light that is coming in so that it match with our gradient. Just gonna change it a little bit. And then we're gonna soften the edges down a little bit. All right, I think we're good to go. So and now as you can see we have a raised coming from the window from the window and this is why this is the before and after and we are almost done guys so one thing that i just want to i want you guys to have in mind you need to have a reference email that you're going to use whenever you're doing your grading all right so now we have uh we have a raised light coming in and then this node we're going to use just to mark to create a mask around her so that we have more shadows in the scene so we're going to create a mask around her and then on our game, we're just gonna bring down the gain. And now we're going to reverse that. So we have um we have more shadows around here just because we're actually going we we're trying to get closer to a reference image, but you can see the grain is uh this side is a little bit red and then here it's too much yellow, but we will fix that. So let's just go back to our to our grading. Like I said, you need to name your grain so that you will know what you need to fix. So let's just try to go and try to fix that. Uh, Alright, and we are done. That was quick. So now we have a uh, we have a main character being selected, and then there's shadow around her trying to get closer to a reference image, and then we're just gonna track that down. So whenever she's moving, but the mask is gonna be on her. All right, let's go just on frames that we're gonna fix that manually. Just gonna fix that manually. Alright guys, so now we have our mask tracked down on her and now we're going to create another note and this we're going to call it saturation because we're going to desaturate down the, the grading and let me just check my, my reference image and just want to make sure that I, I know what I'm doing and I'm just going to bring, the, just going to desaturate this down a little bit and I'm going to add another note called sharpness, just going to add more details on the, on the, on the shot, on the grading. 
and there you go guys so um this is what i can show you guys so far to just get close to this grain and this was a quick tutorials and i'm sure you guys have learned a lot of stuff from this uh, like i always say guys if you have anything in mind you want to know about any grain that you see in the movie just leave a comment down below and i'll come quick to that and we're gonna see if we're gonna create that so guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like the tutorials if you have to share with families if you can help out and i will see you guys in the next video peace